to harvest a Russian mammoth sunflower head. So walk with me out here to the garden and we are going to cut this thing down. I'm going to measure it and I'm going to tell you a few things that I find very interesting about the sunflower. I want to measure this head of sunflower and all I have is one of these little old wooden sticks I don't know if you guys remember seeing these around maybe when you were little my grandfather had one of these they fold up I don't think I see these anymore anywhere at any rate let's go ahead and measure this we'll start right down here and just curve it over so 14 15 inches that's great that's huge 15 inches now when I go to store my uh, sunflower heads because I take these home you know I don't live here so I'm just going to take it home with me I like to put them in just a big paper bag if it'll fit <laughs> okay big paper bag and this way I can just carry it around take it home with me so before I put my sunflower up for the season and I'm going to dry these seeds I want to show you one more very interesting thing about the sunflower and it's something called a Fibonacci number sequence. So real quick, I'm going to grab my kids and bring them out here so I can show them uh, this as well. Okay, boys, I'm going to go ahead and try to explain this to you as best I can. Um, this is something that's called uh, the Fibonacci number sequence. And you can see it all through nature, but the sunflower head is the absolute best way to show you this, okay? So first I want to talk numbers. First we're going to talk math. Okay, so boys, basically the Fibonacci uh, number sequence is a very specific order and it's found all throughout nature. And 1 plus 2 equals 3. So now we'll take 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay, do you I understand how that works? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to do the rest go ahead. mathematically. Okay, go ahead. So you want to finish doing that? Yeah. So you take these two numbers of this, 3 plus 5. Guess what it equals? 8. Then 5 plus 8. Then 8 plus 13. Then 13 plus 21. Numbers are getting high now. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> then 21 plus 34. And then 34 plus 55. All right. Almost there. Doing good. Um, 89. Very and good. 55 plus 89. Oh my gosh. This is so hard to do in my head. I know. You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> 14. Just, let me just do the math like right, right here. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. So, what was I even doing? You're okay. doing great. So I was doing so that, and then I think we it, get the idea now. But let him go ahead and get the last number. <laughs> yeah, just let me get the last number, Tommy. <laughs> I think it's one hundred forty. Very good. Okay. Okay, so, so that's the. So that's um, how you do it. Okay. Now, can you show them the math, the number sequence? It's one. One. Two. two three. Five. Eight. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Thirty-four. Fifty-five. 89 and 144. Okay, now I'm going to show you specifically how those numbers apply to the sunflower head. Okay, now this is where it actually gets kind of interesting, I think. Okay, boys, so if I were to go through and count all the spirals, if I counted all of these going in this direction, I would count, it could be 89. Or, and then if I went back and counted the other ones going in the other direction, it would be the number underneath that. So you would have 89 oh. in one direction and 55 in the other. That is cool. Yeah. And it's true with most every sunflower head, with the exception of just a few. But if you go through and do that, if I went through and counted these, which I'll probably do later, um, I would be able to tell you which number sequence it is. Hey, you know what we should do? What? Count the sunflower seeds. Do you want to see which one it, one, it two, does? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'll have nine, to get, I saw this on YouTube, somebody had to actually get tweezers out and pull out the seeds of each spiral. 
and they counted every 10 and they removed the rows and so my curiosity got the best of me so I brought the sunflower head inside and I started counting so this is how I did it and I'll leave a link to in the description area as I mentioned I saw a video that showed me how to count these so I'd like to give credit where credit is due so what I did is I just removed um, the seeds from a row of the spiral and I counted 10 so starting over here let's say if I this is the seed where I started and one two this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so it just makes it easier to count them this way we have one two three four five six seven eight and then this one right here only has nine rows so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so that gives us our 89 number that we're looking for so I'm going to go back and count them in the other direction and I hope to get 55 okay so I finished counting the spirals and I just showed you the uh, regular spirals and then I counted these the anti-spiral and those were much harder to count <laughs> trust me I kind of got lost I had to do recount them like three times and if you do the same thing just put your seeds back in the little spots where you had removed them and then start counting again the trick is really when you're doing the anti-spirals which are harder to spot just get a definite starting area so you'll some of the spirals are much more easy to see on some sides of the sunflower head than other side sides of it so just um, find a good starting point and then it makes it a lot easier so this is an anti-spiral here this is my first one here and I'm going to count in from there so we'll go 10 and then 20 30 40 is in here in the back 50 and then 55 right here so it really turned out really neat. I showed my kids. They were just thrilled to see this. They thought it was so cool. So hopefully this has helped you. Maybe it just inspired you to grow some flowers. I mean, you can eat them. You can learn from them. It was a lot of fun growing them. I've been growing them for now for three or four years. So thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.